Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a tag video and it is ages ago since I did a tag last time and that was on my Danish channel if you didn't follow along over there. I have been tagged in a lot and I just didn't have time to do it. There was project pan updates and finales and intros so I just didn't have time to do these fun tags. I was tagged in this one a few months back by Amanda. Amanda D here on YouTube. I don't know the person who did this, but I have the name here on the screen. I will have linked her video down below. So this tag is called I fell for the packaging tag. So you basically bought things or products, makeup items, based on the packaging and not the product itself. I have a few items here. Here that I want to talk about, mostly eyeshadows, because that's my weakness. Let's just start with the video before it gets too long. So I did a video on my hair today, so if you want to see how I did this space bun thingy hair tutorial, I did a video on my Danish channel, so I will link it down below if you're interested to see how I did this hair. First few items that aren't eyeshadows is my Benefit Goof Proof brow pencil and we can all agree that Benefit has amazing packaging for their eyebrow products. I just love this product and I love the product itself so that's the first thing that I fell for and it is quite new in my collection. Then I got this as a gift. It is the Maybelline New York Color Elixir in 400 alluring coral and I love this color but it is a lip gloss kind of thing, so I kind of wished that I got it in another color. But I just love this kind of packaging for a lip gloss. I love the clear plastic. And then you can see the color inside and it is shaped like a lipstick, even though it is a very pigmented gloss. So, yeah. I, I fell for the packaging because I haven't heard that much about this product itself. Then I have the Bourjois Paris Bronzing Powder and it looks like this. I love the original packaging a lot but when I saw this I just fell in love. I bought it because of the limited edition packaging. Kind of sad but I did. It was the same so it is just a bronzer. I love this bronzer a lot and yeah it is the Festival Tropical Limited Edition Painting. I really like that it is some kind of palm trees on this. So yeah, then it's mostly eyeshadow palettes here. So I will just start with the top and work my way through the palettes. So the first one is the the Balm New Two palette, and yeah, the painting is awesome, and I love the design inside. That it is people, and the pants is like the clothes. So I really, really like that design and that is a basic look for all the palettes and yeah i just quite like it and i like this palette in general then we have this you all know this palette it is the Too faced chocolate bar palette and yeah so i bought this basically because of the hype and the look of it the packaging and because it smells of Coco chocolate, but if I could go back and rethink why I did buy this, I don't think I would have bought it. Yeah, but I do like it. It's not a bad palette, but I wouldn't have bought it if it was today. Then we have the, the Balm Rockstar Palette, the Balm Jovi. It is a bright yellow packaging with very fancy and very cool logo with a guitar with wings and stuff like that. So, so beautiful. I love it a lot. And I love that the mirror is heart shaped and it says rock and roll. And the heart has wings as well. And that the lip products is separated from the palette so it don't get messy. I like that a lot too. I love it in general, but yeah, I feel for the packaging because it is so beautiful. Then we have some MDK Gwen Stefani collection palettes. Okay, I lied. I did have one more palette that wasn't eyeshadow. The face palette with bronzers, highlighters and blushes. I like this a lot. 
And then I have the eyeshadows as well. I just think this is a very, very awesome and cool packaging. I love that it is like a metal sign, what do you call that? I don't know, label. And the circles and I just love the design of this. And I love that it comes in a white and a black packaging. So final palette I have is the MDK Vice Fall palette. So it comes in this pouch, I think back and that is cool itself but what i fell for was this packaging it is so awesome i love it i love that it is kind of rainbow colored and i love the design overall it is so beautiful it really is and i love the colors as well i love that there is no blues because i don't wear blues at all. So I love the orange shades, I love the purple pinks and I actually love the green also. So I really really like this palette and I don't use it enough. That is the same for all my products in this video. I don't use them enough but I do love all of these products um, even though I don't use them enough and because I fell for the packaging and not the product itself. So these are all my products that I fell for because of the packaging. That is my take on this tag. I hope you enjoyed. I will try to tag some people down below. So feel free to check out if you are tagged. I don't know how many have done this tag. So if I can find some that haven't done it, then I will tag them down below. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you will follow my social media here on the screen. Subscribe to this channel. Click on the bell if you want to know when I upload and get notified. So yeah, I hope you're doing well until my next video. Bye guys!